Here's how you can make this a really cool blurry halftone effect here in Photoshop. This is my artboard size. I gotta go with the Noia Has Grotesque Display Pro Bold. Let's go down to the layers, press and hold shift, select both layers, right click, convert to smart object. Let's go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and I'm gonna increase it to 31-ish. So it's gonna be pretty blurry. Click OK. Let's go to the adjustments, scroll down, select threshold, and here you can increase the threshold to make it more skinny, more thin, and more horroristic looking. I'm gonna try out with 86. Now press and hold shift, select both layers, right click, convert to smart object again, and we're gonna go to the filter, blur gallery, and select field blur. Here we're gonna make some of the parts blurry and some not. And I'm gonna add a couple of rings here. And for example, the first one, I'm gonna decrease to one, two, a little bit more blurry. And the second one, more blurry. Third one, again, reduced, fourth, increase, and so on and so forth, until you get a nice mix in here. Let's click OK. Now we're gonna go to the filter, pixelate, select color half tone. I gotta go with max radius seven, channel one, two, three, four, 50, 50, 50, 50. Click OK. And now we get the half tones. If you want to change the blur, you can double click on the blur gallery here and just recustomize the blur. Click OK. Now let's go to filter, noise, add noise. I'm going to decrease it to 12. Click OK. And this is how you make this horroristic looking half tone blur here in Photoshop. Thanks for watching.